I had a, a fear of dying. I, I don't share that with my husband or my kids. So, I mean, I've had so many surgeries since then, and they took a bone out of my foot, you know, and I thought it was cancer, and they operated on my shoulder. It was cancer, and and the the I had a tumor in here, and I I mean, you know, of course, it's I'm gonna die, you know, to get everything in, and to keep my stuff in order, and just the the colonoscopies and stuff, and the fibroids, all that, you know, it's pre-cancer, and and so. I've always had that fear that no matter what it is, it's cancer. Then after the, the sleeplessness came when um, like the nurse left, when I got to go home and the nurse left and I was afraid of being alone. You know, my family was there but the nurse wasn't there and I had this, it was weird, it was like like this, not bond or something, this connection with the, the doctor and the, the nurses, like I thought if I left then I would die. If I went home, I would die because I know that as long as I was there, I would be okay, that they could watch me and take care of me, but I had a real fear of dying at home. We've experienced a lot in the last six years, a lot of tragedy and a, a lot of the unknown, a lot of the unknown. But see, that's where I learned that when it's, when it's dark and it's unknown, the Lord goes before you and it lights up the way and you just take it by faith you know and I don't want to live a day of my life without faith because you know if I could say anything in the world that I could if I wanted to say anything in the world I think this is what I would say I would say that all my life I've lived for the Lord and I have not regretted one moment the key that pulled me through is the faith and the assurance I already had grounded and rooted in Him. Because I never had to doubt that He was there. I never had to call on His name not knowing who He was. And, and that, I think, was the most criti critical point, being diagnosed and, and surviving it. And, and I know that the Lord understands the fear, and I know He understands like the survivor guilt. I started eating right, I started exercising, I started being the best neighbor, the best friend, and I, I just wanted to be a light to them. I wanted my life to be strong because I felt like through that I have gained more strength. I'm a very strong person, very strong person now, and I want to live that, and I want to help anybody that needs to be helped. I've been there, I've done it, you know. I, I. I want to live strong the rest of my life. I want to, living strong is not only being healthy and happy, but it's, it's facing some really hard times. I'm Marilyn Gordeau, and I'm a seven-year lyromyosarcoma survivor.